Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Mohawk Gas. Y'all tuned in to the Going After Success podcast. Yo, yo, yo. You yeah. know who in the uh, building. Ready. Go uh, music, baby. GMG. That's what's up. Yes, I go by King Mills. Being real, you know. Let them know where y'all from. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Southside, Murder Cat. Raised in um, Southside, Florida, Brock. No introduction needed, man. I'm that dude, man. I'm, I'm the slim cat, humble cat you see everywhere. <laughs> I got many names. You feel me? BJ, Black, Ben Real, Real, Ben, my government. You feel me? Do a little bit of every, you know, hustle, whatnot. Clean now. No more dope boy for me. You feel me? Transition, electrician. Now transfer to, you know, doing some music. You know, the dream, you got to do plan B to get to plan A. You know, exactly. life is backwards, so you got to work backwards, you feel me? All right, so let's go back a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. You said you were um, an ex-street street hustler. Yes, man. From the streets, Pompadour Beach, exit 36. Uh, yeah, Villa. You know, um, all my family, we are um, Atlantic, Kai City, you know, Kenda Green, Villa. You know, Pompano is big, man. Everybody say I'm from here, here. But Pompano is just Pompano at the same time, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, man, growing up, man, it was rough, you feel me? But we had to figure it out. Shit, it was a harsh environment, man. That fucking government peanut butter, cheese, fucking rice cakes. Niggas don't know about that. Some people watching this interview. Some do, though. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's property, man. That's what it is. But you know, I was born in the Bahamas. You know, it's even tougher. You feel me? So at the same time, you gotta appreciate what you got. We all were, we all millionaires, billionaires. As long as you got, you know, air to breathe through your lungs, you a billionaire too, dog. But at the same time, all that shit is a mindset, and you know, you still gotta hustle to feed yours. So whatever you gotta do, figure it out. You know, and capitalize and make it make sense. So, coming from the streets and going to the rap game, what made you switch over? Alright, so with me, uh, let's go back. I did some music, Villa Boys. Remember the Villa Boys? Yeah. I so, know. yeah, that was me. I was the leader of that, Young Coley. You feel me? Uh, and um, we, did, we did a lot of shit, man. We traveled down to Miami. We got a lot of love, bro. Like, Larry Dog. Um, no Sleep Promotions, even DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled hosted my mixtape. How you hooked you up know? with DJ Khaled? Oh, uh, man, I used to go everywhere perform. I started at Pipeline, Big Bass. They, like, you know, gave me some, you know, ill, you know, little shows and shit going on whatnot. And um, I popped up to Metropolis. That's one spot. It used to be a hot spot, but we made that bitch hotter. <laughs> we used to go in there mobbed up, like, 13, 14 deep Villa Boy shirts, like fucking Skittles. You know what I'm saying? Like, all different colors and shit. And uh, rip the stage, do good shows, though. Had good music. And um, I met, uh, who that was? Uh, Hitman from No Sleep Promotion and whatnot. And he, he chopped it up and whatnot, you know. And um, we went and sat down with Khaled. And uh, he hosted mixtape. We talked about other shit whatnot. But it went good. It you know. Good. I never really like put it out like that, cause after that, you know, the group fell apart, and it was, you know, shit crazy. Nah, but yeah. I don't Khaled ain't do it for free. Nah, I paid him. Oh, this was Khaled was what, youngin, so what, fifteen hundred bucks. So that was Khaled before Khaled even blew. Yeah, it was around the time he was blowing. He's putting shit out. It was fifteen hundred, still a little, little bit of change now. So what y'all just? Well, me at that time, <laughs> oh shit, I used to walk around with that shit. Maybe in my shoe or my fucking glove compartment. But I just ain't just no money to be throwing away. Yeah, but at the time, put it into the tape, at the time I was trying to figure it out. I was lost, you know what I'm saying? All I knew was sit, wake up, sell dope, bust my leg, cook up some dope for this nigga, charge this nigga, cook his dope. That's all I knew. So I was like, man, I got to get out of this shit. I don't like this shit. I ain't trying to end up dead or in jail, you feel me? So I always been trying to figure it out, dog. you feel me? Okay. So um, move forward. How you hooked um, up with him? Yeah, man, him, man. So I, after I got out of the game, man, I got a job, became an electrician, seven years. Every morning I woke up to this one ringtone. I made choices in the past to get me where I, I'm at by Rich Homie Quan. Every day for seven years I woke up to that same ringtone to get up off my ass, go to that job, 
for them 15, 50 hour and figure it out. Sad that they fired me the day they made me clean behind a dumpster. You feel no, me? No, oh, yeah, man. I'm a little bit about that, but I ain't. So I went to the next job, got 19 bucks, went to the next, got 22. Went to Boca Mall, redid all that shit, got $28. And then I looked at it, I'm like, man, I got to know my value. If these motherfuckers can pay me 28 what they making? Right. Thanks. So I was in school at the time. I started my own business, kind of, you know, doing little side gigs and whatnot. I finally shook loose from their ass one day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, turned out pretty good. In uh, January of this year, I was like, things start picking up. And um, I bumped into this guy. He lived like nearby me and whatnot. And I used to see him every day. And I used to see the little young cat throw it up, you know what I'm saying? Ride by. This was about, you know, weeks. I'm throwing it up. And one day, one of my guys that were working for me was, you know, talking shit. I had to let him go. And um, I'm riding home. I'm like, man, let me holler at Jet right there. Jet, what's up? What, what you doing? He like, yeah, man, I work a little bit, but they ain't really paying good right now. COVID going on. I say, Jet, jump in. I'm going to break bread with you. I got you. I'm going to pay you more than what they paying you. You feel me? Right. So every week he bang, bring it home over a band. You feel me? What y'all doing for the band? I'm an electrician. Oh, okay. So I'm teaching him a trade. You know what I'm saying? Early. That he is gold. Never going to end. Everybody need power. Like I always say everywhere I go, nigga, the apocalypse come, we gonna be the niggas to call for solar energy, nigga. You gonna need light. You feel me? So what made you gravitate towards him? So he been riding around with me, we doing jobs. I'm telling him about the past, the Villa Boys and all the music, how it used to be, the group broke up. And he was like, bro, just listen to this real quick. I don't know if you might like it, but, you know, I, I sing a little bit and I kind of rap. I'm like, let me hear it, nigga. You wait this long to tell me that? Nigga, yeah. put that shit on. First song he put on, I'm like, oh shit. Nigga, we going to the studio. I'm finna call Gold Rush. We're going. I call Gold Rush five minutes after that. I'm like, bro, I'm bringing him. Book my session. We coming. Went to Rush. We dropped this track called Going Off. He killed it. And uh, we went, you know, I got the little studio over there in the villa by the trot, whatnot. Uh, with Toe Up, my dog, Dude, VBOG. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we just been grinding ever since. And I bumped into a Know Your Boy through my peoples. And then I went up to Georgia with a uh, gangster comedian, found Bam Belair, and came back home grinding, bumped into uh, Nat King Cole grandsons, one of them here in the NFL. Shout out to Wyatt, Ray Wyatt. He played for Cincinnati Bengals. And um, his, uh, his cousin, Foz, and uh, his close homie, Cash, is Clay, and uh, Champion. Them boys make beats, rap, you know what I'm saying? So that's GOAT Music Group. And uh, we also got J Diz and Lil Audi. You know, my little young niggas out there young and thugging, but you know, it is what it is. But I'm gonna bring them boys up out of that. You know, I take them to work and try to show them this shit to keep them out the way. And then we hit the stool, man. That's how it go, dog. In a nutshell. So you know I'm grinding. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what would you do? Basically, sing, rap. I sing, rap, produce, write, everything, basically. How'd you figure out that's something that you wanted to do growing up? Man, once I listened to Michael Jackson, <laughs> Rick James, Prince, all them boys, they have a feel in their music, you feel me? Like, if you listen to their music, you feel it, you know? Yeah. I'm Rick James, bitch! Yeah, <laughs> you feel it, you feel that's me? Real. And I grew up off of that feel, so when I make beats, I had that feeling. When I record, I had that feeling. When I write, I had that feeling. And that's all it is, you feel me? What it's kind of music you make, like? Everything. Gangsta music? Gangsta, love. gospel, love, everything. I don't put myself in one shell. Why? Because we human, you feel me? You gonna love, you gonna hate, you gonna everything you're gonna praise god you're gonna do all of that <laughs> through your life you feel me so you basically just a it's well, a journal well that's how i see music it's a journal do you write you ghost write for other rappers do that's all of that looking into everything ghost write i write for myself i freestyle it's all depends on the beat you make beats also yeah what kind of beat you make Everything. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't put myself in one show, bro. So if I was to be like, I want a, this certain type of beat with a couple melodies, yeah. how long do you think it'd take you to make it? Probably an hour. What, what you put? Hour? Yeah. Because I'm going to make like two, three, four probably beats, and I'm going to have you pick out of them. You feel me? What you charge for your beats? Do you want me to sell them out? It at depends. Least yeah, at least some. If you want me to remake one, that's 150. Because you want me to remake it, you feel me? It's usually a YouTube beat that they want me to remake. Okay, so you make a lot of, a lot of you remake a lot of beats for different yeah. artists that want to sample. Yeah. If they can't get it clear, they can get something similar. Exactly. To it. That's yeah. The way to work around it. Okay. So now um, you freestyle a little bit. A little right. bit, but mostly I write. You feel me? Depends on the beat. Shit, get on that going on shit. First track I heard. <laughs> nah, get yeah, get to a yeah, fight. Let's see what it's an R and B track. It's going off. 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 It's going off, it's going off, it's going off, it's going off, come, I just give you here all of me, take off that dress, girl, and those Vickies, come put your body here on me, I will Take my time, do it slowly, like who let me sleep, Hey, Little mama sliding on me, Hey, She got that master degree, Hey, So many rounds lost in the sheets, Hey, I'm about to bring out that. <laughs> That's just a, you feel me? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Damn, man, this been know your boy calling me all day, man. Know your boy, you in the interview right now, man. Yeah, hey, yo, bro. I'm thinking, I'm like, who this dude is calling me FaceTime all day? Nah, yeah, we got know your boy, be genius, man. You my, you supposed to be no, here man. right now. You already you in the you interview. Sleep? Know your boy, you sleep, my bro? Got a blanket on you, boy. You know, he had school today, so you feel me? He's 17, bro, so oh, he go to Ely. Okay. Feel me? So, yeah. Yeah, okay, we give him a pass. We give him a pass. That's, that's that boy Gaz, man. So, yeah, man. Know your boy. You don't want to say something? Uh, say it again. I'm trying to slide up. What's up? Let's hit the studio. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? I work. told you he ready to work. Yeah, boy. ready to work. We finna handle this, though. We gonna hit you up as soon as we pull out, man. All right? All right. Straight, straight up. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old is he? 17. Just turned 17. He's so in a rush to grow up. <laughs> I mean, I say, say you just turned 17. He's like, no, nah, I'm 17, about to turn 18. Like, no, don't say it like that. <laughs> don't be in a rush, dog. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Slow it down, man. I wish I can go back. But, uh, yeah, he's a nice, humble kid. You can see, you feel me? And, uh, man, I wish I can play some tracks for you right now. Yeah, we'll, um, but we'll, we'll drop it. We'll drop something in there. Yeah, how, how often y'all go to the studio? Every day. Every day. Oh, some you got days. A studio, so. Yeah, I got a studio. Every day. Some days we just, you know, go other places to go do uh, open mics. Um, in Miami, they got this nice spot where they got the little vendors and like go there and get get your little pack and they give away your nice little goodies at the end of the show and shit. What's the last show y'all did? Or um, night? what was that? Monday night moguls or we did Wednesday night? I don't know. We just go. We just yeah. go, man. You know how I am. I just pop up. Just like I popped up on you that day. Gang, what's that up, part, man? That part. You know, you know how I do it. In and out, oh. man. Everybody see me, man. They know, you know, I'm a good dude. You feel me? Ain't nobody asked me yet, like, why you why you name the shit Goat Music Group? You a That's goat? We get into it. We Ain't get nobody it. never asked me that yet. <laughs> Not even no street too. niggas, none of that shit, cuz. I, I, you know, I respect the streets. I respect all my niggas. I love all y'all, bro. You feel me? So, how so I feel like I'm a great goal? nigga. I'm a how great nigga. I'm gangster. Up? I'm the G. I'm the one. I'm love. I owe nobody. You know, I show love everywhere I go. You feel me? And my youngest that I'm bringing up, they got, they gonna 
present the greatest music of all time. That's what they gonna do. No cap. And I'ma stand on that. Cause everybody know, you know, my shit always real, genuine, you feel me? So I ain't gonna lie to you. I'ma come through. You just keep that same energy when I deliver. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. But that's what it is, dog. Yeah, Standard. Yeah, uh, I know it's I, I know it's high, uh-huh. but it's it's only you know it's what you make it. Feel me? So you scared? Get tired. Go to church. It ain't happening. <laughs> you feel me? So you know it, it's like this, dog. Like I said, all this shit is glamour and glitz right now. You got people that's out there like thinking because they took a picture with a person, they music gonna get viewed. You got people that think if they showing their money, they shit gonna get viewed. Nigga, you gotta have some real music, like good, nigga. You gotta say something, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of this shit, no disrespect to these little niggas coming up. They really telling on they fucking self in their music. I know these niggas wanna be so real so bad, but they tell the whole fucking scene and then go in there and be like, oh, my mama. Come on, man. Cut that shit out, man. Don't be fucking throwing rocks in high hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, own up to that shit or just leave that shit alone. Make life better. Don't try to take life. You feel me? You got beef with these niggas over there? Figure out a way to sort that shit out, nigga. Time is short. We already got enough oppression against us, you feel me? As black people, we killing each other. I hate to see them little jits doing that shit, but that shit Thank over money, you. over what a nigga said, over, over a female. Bruh, I'm like so sick of that shit, bruh. That shit hurt my heart. You feel me? Um, what I gotta do, cry in this interview for you niggas to stop, bro? Like, for real, dawg. Like, we gotta figure this shit out, dawg. We gotta come together. We gotta, especially us older niggas. We gotta, I know, I, I remember, bro, going to school, niggas used to be like, bro, don't be around here, bro. You need to go to school. I'm like, right. nah, nigga, I need to make my own run and then. This shit, I'm trying to pull up tonight to Honeycomb with y'all boys. Here I am, 17, trying to get in the club, Honeycomb. I got in that bitch that night, I'm so drunk.